Hi everyone, this is Bootleg Hair Girl, and make no mistake, you're on my channel today. And today I wanted to talk about something that a lot of people don't like to discuss. Um, and that, to me, is when I'm in the CNA field, the worst thing that I have to do is when someone dies is to follow protocol and do what we have to do, you know, to make families comfortable and lives comfortable. And, you know, it's hard when you care for someone that you know that are in hospice and they're going to be leaving us. So instead of pinpointing to the day going, eventually you're going to die, you got this long to go, I try to make, make it to where they don't have to think about that. So I do my job, but I also uplift. And I love to uplift. So when that day comes, I know I've done my part. I took care of that person. And I was there for that person during their final days. It's really hard for me because knowing that this is a part of the job where residents do die. I used to cry really, really, really hard. I've cried for a lot of people because in my emotions, they... Um, when I was in uh, another state, not where I'm working at now, but when I was in another state, I was told when I was a CNA that you can't get close to the patients. Um, you can get close to them, but not too close to them. And that was hard for me because I'm a social butterfly and that's what I do. And, uh, but I, people have to realize things change through the years and they have to realize that can't help but get close to people that live in the in the facility that just need a hug every once in a while and since now that we're doing social distancing um throughout the country because of the coronavirus it is very hard for people like me who just like to give hugs <laughs> so what i do instead is i touch their hand and i tap and, um, but I still, I love everyone that I take care of. And that's hard when you love people that you take care of and you know they're going to die. So the way I cope with it, I sing and I make others happy. And that's wonderful when you sing and you make others happy and you know that you did your job. So when they are going on to glory, you did your job. And that it's not just a job that you did and a service that you provide, but it is it is for you that, how do I put this? It's for you that you know that you cared for them in their final days of life and that you were sincere and that you did what you had to do to make sure that they were comfortable and that they weren't just another statistic, another number. Hey, you're going to die, so we got to do this stuff for you. No. Nah. So, usually, that's my random thought. I know it's a lot of rambling, but it's my random thought. And I want everybody to know that our job is very hard. Pray for all nurses, CNAs, doctors, physicians, everyone who is going through this virus. Pray for all of us, okay? Because um, we're praying for you. <laughs> Trust me, I'm praying for the world. And I'm praying that this, you know, works itself out and that no one's dying from this virus. God bless you all. This bootleg hair girl. Stay dreadlocked. Love you. Bye.